we're going to give you a tour of our toy hauler trailer. All right, here we go, guys. So welcome to the humble abode. Um, so here it is. So let's we're just going to do a quick little rundown of some of the things we did and some of the things that really helped. Because when you move in, obviously you you got to just see what helps and whatever. But so first thing we did, we mounted our TV here, which a couple swear words made it came out. But anyway, we got the TV <laughs> mounted. It's a 32 inch. It works pretty good. Um, this here, when you pull this pin, well, whatever, it's stuck in there. But when you pull that pin, it swivels around and you can watch TV in the bedroom, which is kind of cool. We don't do it very much, but it's a cool option to have. Um, we added a little sound bar, which is awesome. It just gives it just that enough good sound for a movie or UFC fights or whatever we like to watch. Um, so if you come around the corner, we got these little shoe racks from Amazon. All this stuff we're showing you was probably from Amazon. So I mounted these two shoe racks and you can see you can get so many nice shoes up here. Um, and the nice thing is, is this was kind of a dead space anyway. So we kind of tucked them over here so they wouldn't be jogging out where you're kind of walking around the camper. So those worked really awesome. Before I forget, these lights. And we'll definitely oh, include the links yeah. to all these things in the, uh, that's really bright. Yeah, so these lights are really awesome. Because <laughs> if you have regular bulbs, I'm tall and I don't have shoes on right now. So when I'd have shoes on, my head is like right there. It, it was hot. And Super so hot. We, we were like, we got to get rid of these lights. So we found some LED ones. They're awesome. They're bright, but they're not hot. Right. So we'll throw those in the link. Um, lots of hooks. We have lots of keys because we have toys and sunglasses, two cars. You know, you got all your keys for the the openings outside of your camper and locks and just everything. So this worked out awesome. We just got all these little sticky, sticky ones to hang all of our keys on. Um, blackout shades is a must here in Arizona. We're facing the... Like the kind of the so, north, the south side, right. so we're really getting hit here at the sun, and we can't keep our canopy out all the time because of the wind. So we got those, um, and on this side, this one is Sarah made these. We got like a blackout film, and it has like the silver on the outside, so it reflects. And she made these to put on here, and this is Velcro. We never really opened this one. But if you spin around to that behind her, you can see we put some dowels in there and we just roll them out with a dowel, staple them through a dowel, which worked really awesome. Yeah, we the, had blinds yeah. and valances on here, very similar to the living room here. Yeah. But with just, you know, the size of who we are, you know, we're 6'3 and 5'9. You're 6'3? You're 6'3. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, if yeah. you if you show them that valance right there, it sticks out what three inches. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So now if you spin around here, and there's a three inch valance here, I can't. I had to do the old. Andy was definitely going to yeah. be like reconstructing the camper yeah. on his side. Yeah. So we took it off there. We took it off there. Right. He would have um, taken them out. Yeah. <laughs> I was, it was making me angry. And so these were the blinds we had, which are fine, but when we would sit here on the couch. Every time you'd lean back, you'd hit the blinds, and it was just annoying. So we did the same thing, you know, with the with the wood dowel and just little hooks, and we just roll it up. Yeah, what's really cool, too, is we can have it all the way up. We can roll it all the way up, or if we want, we can just do it halfway, too. So, like, if it's a sunnier day, you know, we just yeah. kind of whip it up that way, yeah. and, and you, you know, can see the, you can still see. Yep. It's very cool. So we got that, and then I mounted this little fan here. This is a lifesaver because yes. we can have it blow back into the bedroom or we we angle it down and it can blow on us, you know? Just, the biggest thing is it gets really stagnant in here. Right. So we got that. We got our little paper towel holder, which is awesome because it doesn't unroll. You know, it's actually, so yes. when you're driving, it's not you're not gonna come here and it's all unrolled out silly little dish rack um we had to buy this as you can see we don't have much for counter space we're <laughs> going to replace this because it's driving us bonkers yes um but luckily we got this 
to at least cut stuff on, you know. Yeah, and talk about our cushions and our little yeah. couch and everything. So our too. cushions, we order. I should say, Sarah ordered these. So these are all new. She ordered the cushions because it was just like these brown ones, and you can see they weren't peeled at all until we started sitting on them. Right. So they started peeling and just being all stupid. Um, so and they were just it was like sitting on a board. So what we did too is we had a table here, you know, where you had the typical brackets with the poles and the table mounts and you can pull it off, turn it into a bed. But it's just the two of us and we're like, we're never gonna be really sitting at that table. It was kind of warped anyway and it just kind of really sucked. So we came up with our own idea. We got some nice plywood. We usually keep it as like a bed because it's just like a big couch. And then I cut, cut a notch and I gotta paint this board yet. Pretend the shoes aren't there. <laughs> um, so I cut a knot so this board can slide in and then we can slide our two cushions down and it ends up being just kind of a nice couch if people come, you know. But right. for the most part, we have it like this and it's just like a big couch kind of day bed type thing that works awesome, you know. So that's kind of what that's kind of the shizzy on that. Yes. And these new cushions are so oh, much more comfy. They're yes. like the memory foam. And, you know, we're tall people, like we said before. And so, you know, it was kind of low to the ground sitting on that. Yeah, kind of so, raises it up. Right. Um, it was awesome. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't know. We'll, we'll swing it around to her and show you the office. We have some videos that we constructed the office and stuff. And it really turned out awesome. And... I'm glad we did it because she has her spot. So here we go, we're gonna flip it around. Yes, so welcome to my tiny little hot box, I like to call it, <laughs> my office. Um, this was so amazing. I have a couple of businesses where I work from home and so to have everything like organized and at my fingertips and having the dual monitors and we added this light. You know, we've got the light up here though too that we can use. Um, another light over then, there. Yes, another light over there. These these outlets, oh, yeah. we'll we put... bought those off of Amazon. They have been so, so cool because not only do you have additional outlets to plug stuff in, but you've also got all your USB ports, your, your um, USB-C ports, and there's like four of them on there. So just super cool because, you know, technology. you got lots of stuff going on. And it's it's just super awesome to be able to have a printer in here and we you know just used all of this we repurposed all the stuff because this used to be a bunk bed area and we ripped the bunk beds out we used the the um base of the bunk beds and made the desktops the printer top and it's just been working yeah. out really well yeah because really well. below the printer there is our water heater so we couldn't get rid of that so we it actually worked out perfect to put the printer right on top of it we just yeah. built a little top and a little bit of a tight squeeze to yeah. you know get stuff in here but um for the most part all i use is the printer i very rarely use the scan which i can still slide my documents in there to use um you know we've shown you before we added these two um cabinets which give us lots of storage you know there's um plenty of extra room for us to keep everything because as yeah. you know living in a in a camper there's limited space yeah. and so you got to utilize every single inch um, yeah and if you guys ever do a, a thing like this with ripping out the bunks if you haven't watched your video these are the supports that the bunks were on and it was we're so glad we kept those because we mounted everything to those because you know how you know there's nothing there right right so we mounted our cabinets to them i mean you can see the brackets coming down here we mounted to them i mean it's just you know they're not the prettiest thing but everything in here is stable and we pulled it and we had no problems with anything moving around so right. it's been great wow we'll take you into the bathroom you know another little tight spot but we've made some upgrades in here as well and it's been absolutely wonderful um I, we had a video before where we showed you how we added in these um little cabinets they were too tall but then we um 
took it in half and then that way we were able to put one on each side and that's just you know really giving us a lot of extra storage room as well we added a light up here uh, that we got for, off of Amazon yeah, for my makeup yeah for Andy's makeup <laughs> not uh... <laughs> um, but it's so super cool because it just plugs in on the side and then runs down to the outlet to recharge so yeah, really slick. really awesome and it's also got like different light levels too from soft to warm to led you know all that kind of crazy stuff so super cool another thing we added inside the cabinet too is these super awesome um motion sensor lights mo yeah these are motion sensor and it, so at night you know when you come in here and you're looking for you know something in your medicine cabinet they just pop on automatically and those are rechargeable too with a usb cord yep. and yep. those we've had for a long time yeah they we have last. some of those stashed they like last right, a long like right here too so when you're going to the bathroom they sense the motion and they light it up so you're yeah, yeah. long long time so um the shower area it is added, what it is yeah but we added a couple of things so we were hanging our towels on the door yeah. and it just became so thick and yeah. almost like claustrophobic to try and enter into the bathroom so we're like well why not hang a couple of command hooks yeah and they in, were working good in the shower so that then when we're done showering we hang them in here when we are showering we hang them on the door super super awesome yep. um then we also got these cool little gadgets i call them diddlers <laughs> They're just so crazy. I love, you know, that they're different colors. These stick on. So it's not like, That's you know, adhesive. those. Right. It's not like those rubber suction cups, you know, that all of a sudden lose their suction and fall off. And then your stuff is like, you know, all over the place. They really stick. And they're actually too for um, wet spaces. So, I mean, how cool, you know, to like yeah. decorate your shower a little bit. And then to have, um, you know, nice tight places to keep those things at your at your hands. Yeah, because if you're everyone knows if your shower is kind of textured or whatever, if it's not like a smooth tile or whatever granite, yeah. those suction cups fall off all the time. So right. and it gets annoying. And it always happens in the middle of the night and scares the bejesus out of you. <laughs> right. Little royal pain in the butt. Yeah. You know and like towel bars, you know, we added those those types of things because you gotta have some place to yeah. put those little yeah. Minor. Yeah, but for the most part, you know, everything I mean, you, once you live in there for a little bit, you'll figure out little things that work best for you. So Yeah, this thing came in really handy oh, yeah, too. I forgot and, about that. And um, you know, Andy needs a place to put, you know, his his stuff when yeah. he comes in from my wallet, my phone. Sections. Yeah, there's just, you know, all these little nooks when you're just used to coming into your house and you throw it on a counter, or you throw it in a drawer. Right. You don't have all that stuff, so yeah. So yeah, I mean, I guess that's really the tour. Is there anything else? I think that's it for the most part. Um, yeah, it's, we've just been figuring little things out here and there as we go, and it's been really, really nice. We feel like we're definitely um, finding our groove and finding our our um, place. She likes to stand under the lights. <laughs> I do. Yeah, there. Oh. There you go. <laughs> so you just step right in front of it again. I know. It's crazy. They're everywhere in here. So it's like I can't see your face when you're couple of inches. When you're standing under the light. Nice. Nice. So but no, we're really we're really loving it. Yeah, I mean it's there's obviously some things that are hard to get used to, but when you have uh freedom to kind of go wherever you want and financial freedom i mean really that's really what it matters you right. know so right. so i hope you guys like the tour any questions let us know follow subscribe um and we'll put the links in. yeah put the links out down below some of this stuff was lifesavers so right and uh yeah if you guys have any tips let us know i mean we're what a month we're no a month, month and, and a half. half month and a half in right so any tips any things that you guys like definitely let us know i mean we're everyone's always learning so for sure cool yeah so have a good one bye from apache junction <laughs>